Basically, anytime I opened up a cover and I tried to jailbreak on my iPhone XS Max, apparently devices from A12 and beyond are running into some issues. So keep that in mind. If you have that A12 chip like the iPhone XS Max has or above, you may experience some issues. So I want to get that out of the way. There should be a fix sometime soon. But as far as I know, that is the number one issue that I was running into. It kept going up to like 17 out of 30 and would basically stop working. However, on my iPhone success, doing the same method as everyone else has been doing, I was actually able to go ahead and get City on my device. I did run into a couple of issues, but I'll go ahead and show you how to fix those specific things that I ran into. Now, first of all, the number one thing that I always do before I go ahead and jailbreak my device, I've been doing it for many, many years now, is to first of all, make sure and double check that your uncovered jailbreak is suitable for your software. So right now, this iPhone success is on iOS 13 point something. It's like super old. And what you want to do is you want to open up your uncovered jailbreak and right at the bottom, it'll go ahead and tell you right here, first of all, which version you're on, which is 6.0.0 for me, which is the latest version. But right here, it tells you this specific uncovered jailbreak is supported from iOS 11 to iOS 14.3. So if you're rocking iOS 10 or you're rocking iOS 14.4, no matter how many times you try to jailbreak, it's not going to work out. So you need to go ahead and make sure you're within those specific software versions. And that is the number one thing you need to do. Now, secondly, I would recommend go ahead and putting your phone on airplane mode, which is right here. So put your phone on airplane mode just like so. You can also go into your settings and do it. But at the same time, you want to go ahead and hop into your settings app. And this is something that I just do all the time. It's like almost like a habit to me. I go into settings, I scroll down, I go into general, I go into iPhone storage. And what I typically do is I go ahead and delete any software updates that I may have available. So you want to go through your iPhone storage and you want to delete any iOS updates that you may have downloaded. You just want to tap on it, click delete, and you should be good to go from there. And ultimately, at this point, I would recommend rebooting your device. So go ahead and power off your device how you normally would, and then go ahead and power back on. And you should be good to go. And at that point, I would recommend opening up and cover and trying to jailbreak your device. That typically should end up fixing it for a majority of people. Now, if for some reason that doesn't work, 